To game one of the winner's match between Master Ray and Dreamer, upper right-hand corner, we have Master Ray as the pink Protoss, bottom right-hand corner. We have Dreamer as the green Protoss. This is on Tau Cross. Again, another rampless map. I'm trying to think out of the full map pool. So Blue Storm has no ramp. Uh, Blindside sort of has a ramp, but not exactly. Tau Cross has no ramp. What are the other maps? Polypoid has a ramp, um, but I'm trying to think of what are the other maps are in this grouping. So basically, there's a lot of rampless maps, which make kind of early early pressure, I think, a little bit more effective. Anyway, this is the critical story here, though, is this is a rematch of the finals from Hasu, the last season of Hasu League. You had... Uh, and Master Ray, I'm trying to wonder, because that was a best of seven. I think Master Ray ended up winning, not in a sweep. I'm trying to remember if Dreamer took two games or one game. Master Ray ended up, and none of the matches I felt like were overwhelming. Like, Master Ray just dominated so much that it was clear that he was... I mean, it was clear that he was the better player, but I don't feel like it was one of those things where Dreamer couldn't practice and eventually overtake Master Ray through... Point being, these, these players are both fairly close in skill level. Given... Any given month's best of seven, I could see uh, one player sneaking out uh, some victories across against another. We do see a gateway opener for both players with no cheese. It looks like Master Ray is going to get the initial scout with this probe, which is going to be big advantage. No scout yet for Dreamer. It looks like I think this probe is going to be the scouting probe. No, two gate opener again for Dreamer. Now the question is, is if this probe moves out and sees the angle of direction... <clears throat> from this probe coming in, is he going to see that it's coming from the north? And is Dreamer going to get the initial scout out? Because this is a three-player map. And it looks like Dreamer is going to initially scout the right direction. Well, nope, I take it back. So making its way to the upper left. Here's the thing. With a three-player map, you scout this area, you see that it's empty, you know you need to go to the upper right. Cybernetics Core opening it again without a Zealot first. And a Simulator right there for Master Ray. Here's the thing, though. If anyone can defend this sort of thing... I, I would say Master Ray is the one to defend it. Like, even though he is a lower APM player, you can see just at 135-ish versus the 400 comparatively, even though he's a lower APM player, he just his decision-making is phenomenal. Second gateway down, actually behind the Assimilator, or sorry, behind the Cybernetics Core, is producing initial Zealot. Now Dreamer knows where he needs to send these Zealots. Actually, plopping down an Assimilator to follow this up, perhaps realizing, okay, well, got caught with my pants down. I'm not going to be able to... Knowing Master Ray, I'm probably not going to be able to get the Zealot pressure I want. So let me go ahead and produce the initial three Zealots, send them, but then follow it up with... No, actually just going to stick to Zealot production. Uh, I was expecting a halt on these to get an earlier Cybernetic score down, and then kind of a, an adjustment from there. But no, three, three Zealots making their way across. There are going to be two Dragoons to greet them, and a Zealot on that corner. This probe sneaking the way across and pulling off that line. So that might be, you know, sort of a front door breach. But this is a lot of area to also maneuver with these Dragoons for Dreamer. So at least initial five Zealots at staggered intervals going into Master Ray's base. Good scouting information for Dreamer otherwise sees that it is just two gate tech. So it's going to be equalized production. So essentially Dreamer is just hoping that Master Ray is not going to micro these Dragoons well. First Zealot's making its way across, that, and they're working on that probe. And actually, because of that front door is not breached, these Zealots might have an opportunity to do a little bit of economic disruption. Three Zealots initially, one Zealot on top. Yeah, now they're going to just go ahead and dive into that probe line. Master Ray peeling a lot of them off, trying to do a screen back and forth. A little bit of micro, unfortunately, leaving that Dragoon on top of those Zealots. Second Dragoon on top side of Nexus, pounding away at them, and this is... Unfortunately, yeah, for Dreamer, I don't know that this is going to end up paying off. So two, so one Zealot down, two more Zealots entering the base. They might be able to get in the probe line still. The Dragoons have taken some good base damage. This one's actually almost dead. Oh, it does manage to get taken out, but there's two more Zealots, um, or two more Dragoons, honestly. Or, sorry, sorry. Two more Dragoons produced immediately to deal with this. So, yeah, some economic damage, but you can see Master Ray still up 19 probes to 16. And is just allowing his Dragoons to sit back. And actually, Probe getting a kill right there. Hero Probe. Where's the Probe who got the kill? I'm going to see if I can find it for you. It's my determination. Not going to find him. Um, able to get the kill right there and able to clean that up. So that's what. And the rest of the Zealots. Oh, what? Dreamer actually followed this up with more Zealots. He's going to have to back off with that. Maybe he's going to regroup with his Dragoon. He needs to be careful that this Dragoon doesn't wander into this base to get absolutely flattened. So Master Ray now in a strong position can pretty much do... 
whatever he wants. He can sneak into expansion, going to go ahead and provide some additional tech. Two Dragoons, two Zelts at the natural for Dreamer, but now Master Ray can go ahead and apply pressure if he wants. Go ahead and grab a Nexus if he wants. Looks like he's opting for Robo. Maybe worried that there's going to be a... Cause this is the thing, when you end up with an opponent pulled into this position, oftentimes the follow-up is, in fact, you know, DTs. Also, Master Ray going to have range earlier, which is going to make his Dragoon superior. So even though it's a closer reinforcement point, and he's just dealing with maybe overextending a little bit versus these four Dragoons now packing off. Wanted, I think, to see... That's actually kind of the other thing I think he wanted to see. He wanted to make sure he... A good look at what the unit count was on the front to know when that Nexus, if there was a Nexus, and kind of get an idea of what he's going up against as far as like generalized tech, things like that. 7x core spinning. So range is going to be a complete other side. Master Ray with superior tech on the backfield, plopping down an additional gateway and an observatory. So he's going to go kind of into a similar mode that he was in uh, the final match versus Nilsi. Similar sort of tactic, which is apply pressure, try to get a gateway behind it, or maybe even get an outright win. Robotics facility plopping down for Dreamer. Dreamer moving up with range in a lot of attack forces, and closer reinforcement point should allow Master Ray to win this attack. But with a bit of micro, Dreamer might be able to press into this. We'll see. This is kind of a, a gap, but I don't think Master Ray is really able to, yeah, engage on it. Pushing in. And Dreamer really overcommitting. It's do or die right here. Some nice micro from Dreamer. You can see focus firing all these Dragoons. Not a ton of focus fire. Master Ray pulling some probes off the line to engage this. And Dreamer, it's four Dragoons stand with that micro. And more Dragoons are peeling up. And keep in mind, this was at outside of equal production. Some probe, a probe getting a battle probe, getting another kill. But Master Ray in a little bit of trouble. Two Dragoons producing. He does have this third gateway, so he is going to be able to outproduce Dreamer here, but loses his entire attack force and had a lot of mining disruption in the interim. Dreamer continuing to press this. A little bit inadvisable, ending up at a bit of a disadvantage right there, trying to re-engage and provide some additional focus fire. That Dragoon a little bit low on health. But now, at the very least, Dreamer has a very, I'm going to say very fragile, contain near Master Ray's natural expansion. The Observer... Sneaking overhead. I think the differential in troops right there might have been the, getting that Robotech, but Robotech. Great television show. But here's the thing. Master Ray, shortly after another round of Dragoons, should be able to take his natural expansion. He knows it too because he's got that Observer overhead, and Dreamer is going to end up losing map control at this stage. Has gone Robo, and is producing a shuttle to follow this up. So really wants to kind of hammer this home, and unfortunately what that's going to turn into is, is needing some defense. That reveals, I believe that reveals to Dreamer that there's an Observer overhead. Dreamer having a little bit of trouble keeping these Dragoons uh, grouped. The other issue is his Master Ray knows with the sight advantage exactly when he needs to move in. This is the concavity working a little bit more in Dreamer's favor overall. Master Ray may just want to wait uh, for his own Reaver. But again, still has the overall, has a, a probe count lead, is got an additional gateway to produce additional troops out of this. So in the long run, should be able to break this contain. But Dreamer's shown some fantastic micro to follow this up. I like the two Dragoons to the south just in case a shuttle was going to try to sneak across. Knowing that Observer, and yeah, I think that was an indicator in Observer's right there. Might have done that anyway. Reaver getting scooped up. Actually being dropped back down to build to start some of the initial scarab builds. And actually, if this shuttle... I'm not sure how much... I, I'm almost wondering if Dreamer's going to try to press in with the shuttle. Or if he's going to drop the Reaver out, try to press in, get some some initial shots against this Dragoon line and, and kind of press into this. If he does that, might get overwhelmed by the amount of Dragoons that are being planted. Right now you can see he's just kind of going for a generalized contain. The shuttle... Engaging now, Master Ray making movements while that shuttle's not in position. Reaver just coming up, drop. Here's the thing, though, Master Ray backing up immediately. If that Reaver was able to get a shot, that was a very compact area, and it would have done a lot of damage. Dragoon splitting off to try to sneak. Actually, this might be a disaster for Dreamer. So three dragoons right there to engage that shuttle. Dreamer pressing forward, realizing perhaps a mistake, trying to pick off that Reaver, is going to be able to pick off that Reaver, engage the rest of those units, but loses his own Reaver and Shuttle at a distance, and that's going to be that for that contain. Master Ray getting his own Shuttle up. I think if Dreamer had just held back 
would have been okay. Instead, oof, gonna end up losing not just that attack force, now Master Ray, microing very well. You can see the concentrated fire wiping out all of the Dragoons for very little cost. Dreamer in a lot of trouble. Is at risk of, well, definitely gonna get contained himself now back in that ramp. And Master Ray is, can comfortably either, I don't know, produce Reaver, go from there. There is a defensive Reaver here for Dreamer to maybe hold back this natural expansion, but if Master Ray just holds back, regroups, fans back out, he can go ahead and take his natural expansion regardless. Looks like Dreamer has managed to at least scoop things up. That Reaver doesn't have a shuttle to provide some defense. Nice damage right there. Not a lot of micro-concentrated fire, but slipping across the lines, working on that Reaver. Nice micro. Dreamer able to at least keep it alive for a second, so might be able to wipe out all the Dragoons on the ground to at least keep the natural expansion uncontained. It looks like that is the case. And Master Ray now down some troops, but both players are going to have to sit back now at this stage and settle for the, for the win. So Dreamer ends up not getting contained in the natural expansion. Should be able to go ahead and take kind of the question both sides is, do you feel comfortable taking a Nexus? Master Ray feeling comfortable taking a Nexus. I think knowing that they're... I'm not sure if Master Ray realizes he's a gateway up here or not. But going to go ahead and take that. Additional Reaver being... But he did pick off a Reaver. Both players just about dead even. That's going to give Master Ray an advantage. Well, actually, take it back. Master Ray's kept up on his macro. Comparatively, he's still got that 30 probes. He's got that natural expansion building. And that shows you, even with the lower APM, the decision-making of Master Ray that made him Hasu League Champion last match. It's funny, on paper, if I did not have like this stuff in the upper right, it would have been like, yeah, player's just about even. But now, actually, looking at the flat... Uh, score count, Master Ray, yeah, gonna get it, that natural expansion up a little bit earlier. Probe wandering up, wants to go ahead and... I don't even know that that probe's gonna be able to, to see. We'll have to get a look whether it gets the scouting information it's looking for. Does see the Nexus, in fact, building. <clears throat> so now Ash Dreamer in a bit of trouble. Knows that that Nexus is up considerably sooner. Hasn't even... Has just been continuing to pr uh, produce Dragoons out of these two gates. So what do you do as Dreamer in this situation? I think the the answer is is let's go ahead and and try to pick this nexus off and hope for the best. One reaver in a shuttle, setting up to go ahead and take that nexus behind this pressure. Natural expansion now saturated for master ray. The observer ahead to go ahead and kind of see. Um, one Observer might get nice micro on Master Ray, making sure that Observer doesn't get picked off. He's going to wander forward and go ahead and pick off Dreamer's Observer. <coughs> and in fact, sees the Reaver. This is two Reavers versus one Reaver. Dreamer actually fighting into a disadvantageous situation. Plus close reinforcement points. More Dragoons fanning out. Master Ray having a little bit of trouble getting his units forward. Is able to pick off both Reavers, and that one Reaver still stands, but for how long? And that's probably going to be GG. As the reinforcements now flooding out for Dreamer. Master Ray, with the reinforcements he has... Yeah, there's GG. Kind of a desperate situation, but Master Ray just... Yeah, surviving the storm. Doing a, a great job of keeping on top of his macro and... Taking game one. Over his uh, rival. In the winner's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.